Thank you. Hey, are you open and willing to hear something new, something fresh? Remember, believing this, agreeing with this, understanding this. Nope, none of it's necessary. All you got to do is be open. Allow these words to bypass the separate thinking mind and enter your heart. Allow your heart to be open to a brand new kind of evidence of what constitutes the truth. Follow your emotional guidance system. Follow how you feel. Let's talk about seeing. Seeing? What do you mean seeing? Seeing. Like with your contacts? Your glasses? Or just those beautiful eyes? All kinds of seeing. That's what we're talking about. Truly seeing. Remember, according to A Course in Miracles, according to the truth, we're not really seeing. Everything that we look at has a label has a judgment. And, along with that, we're seeing the past. We're seeing what we have been taught, what we have learned. We are not truly seeing what it is that we are interacting with. Because what we are interacting with is in a little box that we made based on our limited thoughts and beliefs. If you open up your Course in Miracles book to the workbook lessons, number 20, that lesson is, I am determined to see. I am determined to see. I could read the whole lesson right now. You can read the whole lesson right now. However, right now, remember, our mind is very undisciplined. Very undisciplined. And remember, we want salvation, we want to be happy, we want peace. And right now, we don't have any of that, because our mind is totally undisciplined. And right now, in this very moment, we cannot distinguish between joy and sorrow, pleasure and pain, love and fear. That's true. We think we are seeing pleasure, and we know what pleasure is. But we don't, and pain, and joy, and sorrow, we're not truly seeing it. We think we can tell the difference between them. Yeah. When we sit back and go within, we really know that we can't, or we would be happy, and we would be peaceful, and truthfully, we are not. All right, so today's exercises are really simple. Once every hour, or twice if you'd like, repeat the idea slowly. Don't be distressed if you forget to. It's okay. Don't let the ego come in and beat you up. It's okay. But make a real effort to remember. I am determined to see. I am determined to see. Remember, what we are doing is inviting in our true vision, Christ's vision, who is us, our vision. Because everything we've been taught up to this point in time is all BS. It's all a form of separation. It's all nonsense. Don't be fooled for a moment. Don't think your mind is disciplined and trained And we're truly being loving. Because if we were, everything that we are interacting with right now would appear to us completely differently. All those judgments, all those labels, all that stuff that separation focused would not be there. We would love the murderer, the rapist, all of those people we've labeled as bad, the same. We would love them because we would truly see them, not what we've learned about them, but truly them. So right now, have the desire to discipline your mind. Ask for guidance, ask for assistance, whatever you need to do. I am determined to see. Say it with us. 
I am determined to see. Remember, ask and it is given. Say it with us. I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. Light and joy and peace abide in me. Love holds no grievances. I have no neutral thoughts. God's will for me is perfect happiness. Oh yeah. Thank you, as always, for you, for the reminders, for all of it. Thank you. And so it is.